in the movie The Irish Man. I think it's Irishman, right? The Irishman? Is it The Irish Man or The Men? I can't remember. I, haven't, I don't think I've seen the whole movie. Uh, they always say he don't instead of he doesn't. Why is that? Um, you don't have to... I mean, people who use the language, there are variations in different places. Uh, people say things that are not technically grammatically correct all the time, right? If you, you grow up in a cult, in a culture, in a community where a certain way of speaking is common, that's how you speak. It's not like there are rules of grammar and then everyone says, oh, everyone, we got to listen to the rules of grammar. No, you speak the way you speak because of your, your upbringing and your community, the people around you, right? So uh, if that group, if that person grew up in a place where people were saying, don't he don't instead of he doesn't and that's how people speak should i say it's wrong well the rules of grammar are descriptive not proscriptive that means they're describing what is in the language not what has to be done so i can't go up to someone and say hey don't say that now the difference is for someone who's trying to learn the language then i should teach the correct way so there's kind of a difference right uh, if someone says he don't and doesn't know that grammatically, if you're writing an email, you should write he doesn't, then I would say, okay, you need to know that. But if you're a native English speaker and you grew up and people around you were saying he don't instead of he doesn't, I have nothing to say about that. Fine. Great. I don't care. I mean, I don't care. I'm here to help English learners who don't know things to know things. I'm not here to tell native English speakers what they can and can't say. Because, in fact, there's tons of variation. If you went around just the United States, you would see so much variation in the way people speak, the way people communicate. And a lot of that would not fit grammatically. I say things all the time in my daily life that aren't grammatical or correct all the time. Because language is like that. It's much more flexible than what the rules describe. The rules are there to have a sort of thing to go back to, to describe what's going on, but it's still imperfect. What you have to do is absorb as much as you can, surround yourself with it, and then based on what you've learned by surrounding yourself, immersing yourself in the language, start to use what's comfortable for you. Now, if you think that using he don't instead of he doesn't fits your style and you want to do that, I won't say, oh, yeah, that's great. You should do that. I'll say, you know, as long as you know what you're doing, you make your own decisions. I would say I like to use doesn't because I th I'm comfortable using grammar that's a little closer to what is described in correct grammar. That's just me. That's my style. Okay. But I say things all the time that that are not grammatically correct as well. So language is messy, and you kind of just have to be flexible, relax. If you say, oh, that's wrong, ah, then you're not open to that. It's better to just listen to it, understand it, and say, okay, some people talk like that. Great. I mean, any country, native English-speaking country you go to, you'll hear so much variation. It will shock you. It will shock you. It's a good question, though, from... Saeed. Um, I, I need to watch that movie for sure. If you haven't already done so, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe, of course, and check out my full courses in the links in the description.